Now the engine is timing is good. We got top dead center. I'd know that because I'm on the mark here. And we checked my friend and I. We checked to make sure number one cylinder was on top dead center by looking back here. And when the exhaust started to go down on number six, actually the exhaust all the way up and the intake starting to go down, then we knew that the cylinder is all the way up. And we took the spark plug out, checked the whole cylinder. The piston was there. And also over here, uh, number one, you see that. Let me get those out of the way. The distributor wire. Uh, you can see that's number one there. And that's where it's pointing to. The rotor's pointing to number one cylinder. Now I need to adjust the distributor because of the vacuum hose. It has to be pointing more towards the engine this way. So I'll show you how to do that next. Well, I've got it to top dead center there. Looking in here, I can see the piston right there. Pull back a little bit. And also, that was sitting right at uh, pointing to the number one cylinder. It's not right now. But what's nice is, I, when I painted the block, I kept, I put some uh, t shirt with some tape over it to hold it out. And that works out beautifully. So that when I uh, crank it around, with the little, with the just by hand here, when it gets to the top dead center, little puffs of air blow out each of these, so I can tell when it's coming to my next cylinder. So it goes in the firing order. Just look at the firing order right over here: one, five, three, six, two, four. And then I just watch it over here, and I know when it's coming to. Number one cylinder, pops out. Watch, look in the cylinder, see the piston come up, and beautiful, it lined up perfectly. If that made sense. Now I'm gonna crank the engine over by hand so you can see how this technique works for finding top dead center. On the engine here, it's a six, so that's I'm going to crank it by hand right there, 15, 16 socket. So I'm going to put this back in the number one cylinder. The firing order is right over here on the manifold. And so what's going to happen is, right now I am on number one. So I'm going to go to firing orders written right over here on the exhaust manifold. You can't see it from where you are. Right over here. On the exhaust or the intake manifold, I should say, we've got it written down. So now I'm just going to watch that. So now I'm going to point out the little cylinders. So I'm on number one. So the next one, the fire is going to be number five, right over here. See it popped up right there. The next one, the fire is going to be number three. Just cranking it by hand. There, it's starting to move right there. Next one to go is going to be number six down over there. See it go out there. Next is number two right here. There it's starting to puff. Next is number four right in here. There we go. And next will be number one. And there it goes. And you can see right here, this is pointing to my number one cylinder. Number one is almost the top dead center right there. Come on over to here. I'm just going to peek in the hole here. Watch this hole right here. I won't have you on camera doing that. Let me get you so you can see what's going on. So I'm going to crank this off. I'm going to peek into the see the cylinder coming up, the piston. It's almost top dead center right there, right in there. So I've got my mark lined up. 
So, so it wasn't moving at all, so top dead center, it's right in on there. These are the little items I had in the spark plug holes. Just rolled up t-shirt, keep the paint out, but also it acted uh, oh, as an indicator when I was top dead center on all the cylinders.